Hey, it's me, Aiden. It's been a little under nine months since my last upload, and a lot has changed since then. For starters, I graduated high school, and I'm now in college. So I mean, yeah, and and and, 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 and the, that's really all there is to that. But uh, secondly, this this is the big boy reason why I haven't uploaded, is because my very beefy computer decided it was gonna break and this is a whole fucking saga so grab some popcorn so let's rewind my last video uh, after that i streamed on twitch for a couple months and really only amassed a following of about three people <laughs> and uh after at on like the last day of those two months really i woke up one morning got up and usually i check my email in the morning because like I don't know, somebody might email me saying I've inherited a, a uh, large sum of money. I don't, know, I don't fucking know. I just check my email, it's a thing I do. And, uh, I hear a hissing sound coming from my computer. And I look to inside the case to see what's going on. Because, you know, technology boy. So I look in there, and I'm like, well shit, something's hissing. And I see this little green liquid dropping from my liquid cooling reservoir onto the 1070. I'm like, oh shit, this is bad stuff. So I turn off my computer, unplug it, put it on to my bed right there, take off the thing, because like I don't really have much space on this desk, it's kind of all taken up because my cable management is horrible and I'm a total clutterfuck. But yeah, so I turned it off took out the thing, put like a cloth under the liquid cooling thing so it wouldn't drip onto the graphics card. I wiped off the graphics card, I wiped off the other surfaces. Thankfully none got on like the motherboard or anything cause I didn't have like a wrist strap or something so like if I had to touch that shit, zzz, fried, fuck that. Not trying to do that. Uh, yeah, but I caught it really quickly, which is good cause like I had only heard like the hissing like a couple seconds prior. Like I just heard it all of a sudden, it's like, who the fuck? And pretty much, that was that. So, I decided I needed a new CPU cooling system. And I went for a liquid one again. Just because I, I, I felt like setting something up that was, like, complex. I don't know. I don't know why I went for it. D ignore that. I didn't say that. I don't know why. I just did. Because I, I heard, like, liquid ones are, like, better from somebody once. So I was like, okay, whatever. Maybe I just got bad luck with this one. So I went with it again. And this one cost about 100 bucks. It was, I actually have it around over there. It's like a Corsair H100i. I think it's RGB. I don't know. I might have got RGB because I, I have expensive taste. But we'll get into that later. And it took me a while to get it. Partially because I eat out a lot. <laughs> like way too much. I practically survived off of Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A for like half of my senior year of high school and partially because of how lazy I am like I'm not, like you guys know I'm pretty lazy so I buy it after a couple months this is I think I bought it around June early June late May one of the two and I'm thinking okay let's just do it let's just get it done so I take I go down to my garage put it on a table take off the window take everything out of it I'm looking at them like, okay, nothing has, like, green shit all dried up on it. That's fine. I put it all on a separate table. I have the screws all in, like, a tub that are, like, assorted and stuff so I don't mess up any of those. And, uh, then I get to the cooling system. I get it off of the CPU pretty easily because it was just, like, four screws. It just... And it's off the CPU. I, I don't know. The thermal paste was, like, easy. I just... And that was that. And, uh, that took me probably, to get all that out, I got the RAM out, I got the graphics card out. I think, I feel like I got other stuff out. No, I think I just literally got the RAM and the graphics card, and that was it. Yeah, I literally just got the RAM and the graphics card. So after that, I, uh, I got to the cooling system. And I, I was just gonna try and take out the thing, because I thought it was just, like, its own little, like, I thought it was just, like, the reservoir, and then there were, like, a fan or two up there, maybe. So I take it off, I see it's attached to the one fan. I'm like, okay, get the one fan out really easily. Fan number two. 
and it's a lot. It's it's a lot harder to get out. I actually needed my stepdad's help for it. Cause I didn't know you could open up both sides of the case. So we opened up the other side of the case. I didn't have the window, and it was much easier to get it. And but then the third one was in like was behind like a metal sheet that was like impossible to like finagle your fingers around. And then I looked at where the metal sheet connected to, connected to the rest of the case. I'm like, well, fuck, how did they get that in there? And I looked at it and I realized, shit, the cooling system is integrated into the case. Which I realized, because I looked at the front of the case and that double helix thing is another like reservoir for the liquid cooling system, right? So I saw that and I was like, all right, well, shit, now I got to drop like $130 on another case. So, uh, that, that wouldn't have been a problem. Could have had that done maybe in like two, three weeks. Just cause I gotta get paid. Gotta eat Chick-fil-A. You know how it is. And, uh, then my car decided it was going to shit itself pretty much. Uh, whenever I was idling, it just, <laughs> it shaked like a, it shaped like an epileptic. It was wild. And whenever it accelerated, it was like, like, it didn't want to accelerate. And I needed new, I needed a valve cover for it, a new valve cover. And that wouldn't be an issue. Parts like 50 bucks. Problem, they don't manufacture them for my car anymore, because of how old it is. So, <laughs> awesome. So, I had to go to a junkyard. And I got another one. I was like, okay, cool, that cost me like 15 bucks whatever boom bring it in two hours later a car shop calls me oh, your your uh, valve cover that you bought has a crack in it i'm like oh, god damn it and essentially i got really fucking lucky the valve cover wasn't the problem it was the valve cover gasket which is just like this like rubber piece i have one that kind of looks like it i don't know where it is doesn't matter wait is that no that's not it okay it doesn't matter so at this point uh all the repairs went down, everything happened, got my car inspected, you know, you know the deal. And, uh, essentially, I'm now down about 800, I think was the final total. I'm down a lot of money, pretty much. So, uh, that's fun. And, so that's good. Now we're in August. I'm like, okay. Home free. Car's, like, 90% of the way fixed because there's another repair. Where the, this, this I find amazing. So the part costs like 300 bucks, right? But to do the repair, it costs $900. Like, hello? And I looked up how you do it, and I'm figuring you have to like solve a fucking Rubik's Cube and recite 36 digits of pi. But it's like literally you take, it's, it's literally as easy as taking batteries out of a remote and putting new ones in. Like, it's that simple. And that, uh, that that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you, you get what I mean. It's really easy, so I don't know why they're charging 600 for it. doesn't matter. Fast forward, late August. I, I, st I just don't have that fixed because it's, it's like the car can run with bad fuel injectors. It's just one day it just won't start, and that's that. But I haven't hit that day yet, and my car still starts really well. So, I mean, saving up for that now because... August hits, late August, early September. Five hundred dollars in books for college. Woohoo! We love that. And so that's great. So fast forward, excellent two months. Went to concerts, went out with friends a whole bunch. Great. I, I lived a college life pretty much for like two months. That's fun. And now I'm here. Oh, I, I, I didn't go to, like, a four-year. I went to a community college, so I, I didn't, like, fail out of college. Don't worry. Um, but, yeah, so fast forward to here. And my computer's still broke. My car's still not 100% fixed. And it's really all down just to me saving money. So I'm one of the most financially irresponsible people you're ever going to meet. Uh, I, with, I was dumb in the sense that I didn't save up before Black Friday and Cyber Monday because I probably could have totally got a case Cyber Monday, which I'm a little hitting myself for, but you know, it happens. So sorry, I guess that I suck financially, but essentially I should have my car fixed in like 100% fixed in the next couple weeks. 
definitely because the fuel injectors i looked it up you can buy like refurbished ones for like 130 and it's like oh okay nice and then uh i'm gonna get the new case for my pc after that that should all be coming in the next like month or so i should be there before christmas should be set before christmas but until then this is probably just about all you're gonna hear from me i'll be replying to all the comments down below as i normally do uh after that i still play i still play a lot of video games i i'm really into fifa still i actually have this one thing that i would totally do i think it'd be a really interesting series and it's it's fun it's really fun to do so i might go through with that if like i'm able to get my computer working again i can do fifa stuff again if you guys want to see that uh I started playing Black Ops 2 with some friends, and that's really fun. Really fun, actually. I'm still decent at it, which is fun, because I was, like, sweet at it back in the day when I was, like, 13. I was, like, forever ago. <laughs> and now, uh... I still play Minecraft, also on occasion. Not much. I don't play Minecraft as much anymore. And I still play Guitar Hero pretty often. That's really it. I play... I... I mean, I'm open to trying new things because I recently discovered G2A and how well that shit works. So, yeah, I can get a lot of games now for like eight bucks. It's sweet. But, uh, yeah. So, essentially, if, if you just want to skip to the end of the video, well, you can't really, I don't know how you time that, but, yeah. Pretty much, my computer's broke. It's going to be fixed soon car is like 90% of the way fixed and also I still play a few video games so that's fun uh, I'll be replying to any comments down below probably no, definitely I don't know why I said probably but I gotta I gotta get ready for class now cuz I gotta be at science I gotta be at chemistry in like an hour so I'm gonna upload this I take a shower walk the dog you know how things are so, with that, I'll, if there is next time, I will see you next time. Bye.